In this video, we will show that every subgroup of the center of a group is normal in that group. So let G be a group. We recall that the center of the group G is the following subgroup of G. It's the subgroup consisting of all of the elements Z of G, which commute with all of the elements of our group G. And if it's not immediately clear why this center is a subgroup of G, I have made a separate video proving that. Now we note that whenever we have two elements of our group G which commute, this is going to hold if and only if when we conjugate one by the other, we just get the original element back. So to spell this out, if we have two elements Z and G inside our, our group G, which commute, this just means that GZ is equal to ZG, this is going to hold if and only if G, Z, G inverse is equal to Z. And this can be seen by multiplying both sides of this relation here by G inverse and multiplying both sides of this relation here by G. So from this statement here, we see that we could have equally defined the center of our group G to be the set of all elements Z of G that are fixed under conjugation in our group G. So the set of all elements Z in our group G, such that GZ, G inverse, is equal to Z for all elements G in our group G. We're now going to use this to prove the following result. If H is any subgroup of the centre of our group G, then H is in fact a normal subgroup of G. And this can be seen as follows. Recall that one criterion of H being a normal subgroup of G is that it's first a subgroup of G, but in addition, whenever we conjugate any element of H by any element of the group G, we end up back in H. So GH, G inverse is going to belong to this subgroup H for all elements H in the subgroup H and for all elements G in our group G. Now note that because we are assuming that H is a subgroup of the center of our group G, that means that H is a subset of the center. And what this says, this says that whenever we conjugate any element H of this subgroup by any element of our group G, we're just going to get the original element H back. So certainly H is going to be a normal subgroup of G. Whenever we conjugate any element in this subgroup by any element of G, we get that original element of the subgroup back. So certainly it's going to lie in that subgroup. Now for a final corollary, we note that of course any group is a subgroup of itself so the center of our group G is a subgroup of itself and we can conclude from this result that the center of a group G is also normal in G. Here we're just setting H to be equal to the center of G.